So, Paramount recently released a trailer of the new Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie. And oh my god, I love it and I am here for it. Now before we begin breaking the trailer down, let's first break down the new and or redesigned characters. Before I start, I know I do not need to say this, but spoiler warning if any of you have not seen the trailer or any previous Transformers movies from Paramount. First, we obviously have the leader voiced by Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime. This time, his model has been updated to include aspects from both movies 1 through 3 and the Bubble Bee movie design. He keeps most of his design in the Bubble Bee movie with some G1 design aspects, like the design of his legs and also some aspects from the Bayless design, like his face design. He also retains his semi-truck alt mode from the Bubble Bee movie, along with his fourth dimensional trailer. Seriously, that thing reappears and disappears just like it used to in the original 1980s show, and I am here for it. The next Autobot is the main character of the previous film, Bumblebee. He does not have much screen time in this trailer, but from the few seconds we were given, we can tell that the design is the exact same from the end of the Bumblebee movie. He still retains his classic 1977 second generation yellow painted custom Camaro alt mode from the end of the Bumblebee movie. Now, the next Autobot is one that has caused a lot of confusion among fans, and that Autobot is to be featured in the opening minutes of the trailer. Jazz, I mean, <coughs> Mirage. Yeah, they really did just take Jazz's 1980s alt mode and change his face a little bit and call him Mirage. Now, that just is not fair. Obviously, the design of Mirage is a world of a difference. First being that his entire color palette is very different now. Earlier, he had a royal blue coat with white shoulders, hands, knees and feet. But now he is mostly an off-white color with a pair of thin, deep blue, almost aquamarine stripes running across his helmet. And as I already said, Mirage now bears Jazz's 1980s alt mode, the classic 1984 Porsche even with a pair of blue stripes from bumper to bumper. We also see that he has the ability to create holograms of himself. This is completely canon to any of the Mirage source material. Next on the list is a completely new character in the Transformers live action franchise. This character is R.C. She resembles her Gen 1 design. She keeps her huge shoulders with a pink visor and magenta colored eyes. But now her main coat is not only pink and white, but also a hot pink, almost red color. Her alt mode remains unknown, but will most probably end up being her 1980s alt mode. That is it for the Autobots. Now, let's move on to the Maximals. The first Maximal we see is obviously the primate leader himself, Optimus Primer. He no longer keeps his colorfully black, red and grey palette from the Beast Wars, or Transformers War Cybertron trilogy. He has rather pulled off a live-action Dinobot palette, ending up looking mostly monochrome in both his ape mode and robot mode. The next character we see is Cheetor, running alongside Bumblebee in his desert dune form with that custom grill and custom headlight thing, in his classic spotted leopard alt mode. His robot mode also looks a lot more clunky and bulky, and wide compared to his portrayal in the other forms of media. But other than that, he is pretty much the same. The next two Maximals only had about two to three seconds of screen time, those being Air Razor and Rhinox. We only see them in their primal forms, and they do still look very cartoon accurate. But that's all there is for them. Next, we have the three Decepticons confirmed to be in this movie, Scourge, Nightbird, and Battleshock all of whom are now Terracons. Scourge was originally Galatron's lackey and right-hand man in earlier forms of media, but now he has been given the leader status of the Terracons, with a completely different look. With all the rust and the updated color palette, he looks more like Silas Breakdown from Transformers Prime. He is again another character with a criminally low amount of screen time, Battle Trap, being a completely new character in the series. He is the orange colored off-road tow truck, seemingly pulling inspiration from Hoist in the 80s cartoon 
and also from Swindle being his alt mode. In terms of color scheme, there is not much source material for this character and we only get to see about a few seconds of him in the trailer. Next we have Nightbird. Nightbird is only seen for a couple of seconds alongside Battle Trap. From those few frames we can make out that her design is mostly based off of Slipstream. Well, that's it for all the new characters revealed and redesigned. But now on to the actual breakdown of the trailer. The trailer opens with Mirage pulling over in front of the camera and transforming, revealing all the new human allies. Noah, played by Anthony Ramos. After that, we see an updated title card from what we saw in the 2022 Comic Con. There is a slide showing a bit of New York from the perspective of the Empire State Building. We then move to an expansive forest, possibly in Peru, where we meet Optimus Primal in his primal form, voiced by none other than Ron Perlman, returning to voice the character after Transformers War of Cybertron trilogy. We also see the new female character, Elena, who's played by Dominic Fishback. Stand down! I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. Then we finally see the head poncho, the main man himself, the face of the series, Optimus Prime, voiced by the legend, Peter Cullen, reprising his role after Bumblebee making this his 38th year being the voice of this character. Starting all the way back in the original series in 1984, now he is here voicing him 38 years later. Now this version of Optimus is a truly glorious cross between all of his designs, except for Age of Extinction and The Last Night. We do not talk about those because he was having a very weird design aspect which matched none of his source material, so we will just pretend that never happened. He jumps on the offensive after seeing Optimus Primal and tries to protect Noah and Elena. But we get to know that Optimus Primal is the least of Optimus Prime's worry. We then get a few seconds more to really sink in these new designs, especially that of Optimus, Mirage, and Bumblebee. Though, in this trailer, Bumblebee seems to be missing a few parts of his helmet. Was all a dream. The next scene is most probably Noah's first interaction with a Transformer, that being Mirage, voiced by Pete Davidson of all people. We see him discover the Porsche, then cut to it automatically starting and presumably going way too fast, causing the police to chase after the car. But then we get a few seconds of Bumblebee movie shenanigans. Like transforming mid-transport, which Bumblebee has done on three separate occasions, all times with humans riding with him. We also see him pull off some signature hologram tricks from most of his cartoon portrayals. Then we see who is most definitely Airazor, voiced by Michelle Yeoh, shooting at a bridge. Then we cut to our first look at a Decepticon, Battletrap, voiced by David Sobolov, who shoots a missile at RC, voiced by Liza Koshi, who is hanging out the side of a Volkswagen Kombi. Who is Wheeljack? Now Wheeljack is voiced by Christo Fernande. Too many characters have changed their core designs in this movie. Anyway. What is more interesting is that she is not in any alt mode. 
this may suggest that not all Autobots have got their alt modes yet. And we may see some of them acquire one, or we may even see Autobots arriving to Earth in the beginning of the movie itself. We then see RC pull out a double barrel blaster. All the threats. From both your past and future. We then get to hear a little bit more of Optimal Primal's speech before cutting to Scourge, voiced by Peter Tinklage, almost getting the kill on Optimus. But then we see Bumblebee stepping in to try and stop him. But then he gets stabbed instead, suggesting that the Terracons may have more than just regular Cybertronian sensory. Then we see Scourge said was at least one megawatts of power right into Bumblebee. Then we see the four Autobots revealed so far walking across a massive grassland with ancient construction and architecture and what seems to be some broken debris. We then cut to a parade or celebration of some sort. And then we get our first look at Rhinox, also voiced by David Sobolov, roaring at the camera. We then get to see Optimus transform for the first time in this trailer, and this shot really shows off what CGI capabilities is possible in this modern age. Then comes a pretty crucial moment. We see three meteors crashing into a metropolitan area. These meteors are most definitely some form of Cybertronian life. Maybe Decepticons, or Predacons, or even more Autobots to help in a bigger battle? You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. We then see Optimus masking up for the first time, revealing a very G1-inspired face mask. Then we see an all-out shootout between Nightbird, who is voiced by Michelle J. Rodriguez, I hope I'm not pronouncing that incorrectly, Battletrap, Optimus, and Cheetor. We also get to see Optimus wielding his G1-inspired Energon Axis. His running animation in this scene is also extremely reminiscent of the running animation of Optimus Prime from the Transformers Prime series. We then see Optimus Primal and RC charging alongside Cheetor and Optimus Prime. Here we get to see Optimus Primal in his robot mode for the first time. Then we cut to the title card with the insignia of the Autobots, Maximals and Terracons integrated into the O of the Transformers name. Our final scene is Elena thinking that the Cybertronians around her are all in her head, but one glance at RC makes her realize that this is all real. Very funny, A plus alien humor paramount. Well, that is it for this breakdown of the teaser trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I will also break down and explain other content posted by Paramount or Hasbro and even the official trailer 2 coming out sometime next year. I cannot wait to see what this movie will be all about. Well, that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed learning, then do show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Do also suggest what other things you would like to see me break down. But that is it for this video. I will see you all next time. Peace.